Kiki cares, you want to know if the serger was loud. Is it loud? I would say it depends on what you're used to hearing when you're sewing. For me, it isn't loud. In person, a serger is as loud as my brother's older Singer sewing machine, so it's a loudness that I'm familiar with and could stand. In my opinion, after listening to the sewing machine, then the serger, they have the same loudness level, but the tone of the noise is different. The loudness of the serger seems to come from the motor driving the parts and the vibrations of the plastic, while the sewing machine may be the motor and the bobbin. So the serger isn't louder than a regular sewing machine. Just to contrast it, we did a little experiment. I recorded my mom sewing on her serger and her sewing machine so you can compare the noise levels. Here's my mom's older 7426 singer. This is normal speed. This is not speed. It sounds about the same to me. The surge is doing double work, more work than this machine. This machine just got one thing to do and it says so straight. Look at all this thread the surge is putting out. Look at all that thread. That's four different colors of thread. Where this machine just got one needle, one thread that's got to use, and that's all. And it's sewing just straight. But this has got a bigger job to do of using all that thread. It sounds the same to me. Yeah, it's about the same noise. The, the surge is doing, the surge is cutting the material and it's sewing the material. So it's got a bigger job to do than this. Since my mom just brought in an embroidery machine a few months ago, we decided to compare the Pro Finish to the Brother SC625. That's very slow. They gonna say, did you see that thing bouncing up and down? <laughs> Here's the serger again. Sitting here, I can tell you the tone on the Brother is much softer. Why is that? The Brother SC625 does about 710 stitches per minute, while the Singer Pro Finish Serger does 1,300 stitches per minute. That kind of stitch speed requires a powerful motor. That power is expressed in watts. The Brother is rated at 45 watts. The older Singer 7426 is at 74.4 watts. And the Pro Finish comes in at a whopping 120 watts. Comparing sewing machines to sergers is kind of like comparing Granny Smith's to Fuji's. Although the Brother SC625 is a sewing machine, its main selling point was as an embroidery machine. I will assume embroidery requires a slower hand and it would not require a power horse motor like a serger or even a regular sewing machine. You know what that is? What? That's the bobbin. What's the what? The bobbin that noise uh -huh. hopping around. That's the bobbin hopping around. Quick note, my mom wanted you to know that she is going to do her nails. Since I don't have a Brother serger, I looked at the watts on a similar serger from Brother, the Brother 1034D, and it's rated at 110 watts. I suspect that any machine that's 100 watts or larger and has a plastic body is going to have the same noise level as the Singer serger. 
Keep in mind that you can call the manufacturer and ask for the decibel levels of the machine in operation. I tried calling Singer to get the decibel information, but they're not answering their phones right now, I'm assuming because of the pandemic. I will say the times that I have gotten through to Singer, that the uh, representatives that they have are very knowledgeable about their machines and about sewing in general. Thanks Kiki Cares for the question. I hope I've answered it. And again, thank you for watching our video.